What I'm going to talk to you about today is how to integrate Fibonacci into your, into your trading systems. We're going to start at the very beginning and step you through. And along the way, I've built in uh, a few places where, I, where you can ask questions. So if there are any parts where you don't understand what I'm talking about, please feel free to ask me along the way rather than waiting to the, uh, to the very end. We're going to start with the building blocks of price action, which I think is a very important place to, to start. Then we'll talk about Fibonacci. Then we'll talk about how to trade with Fibonacci. And finally, we'll put it all together in how to incorporate Fibonacci into a trading system. So starting with the building blocks of Fibonacci. So now we'll uh, move into uh, Fibonacci. And for those of you who are familiar with Fibonacci, I apologize um, in advance for starting at the very beginning. Uh, well, in the 12th century, a monk, this is actually a very fitting location because this is sort of a 12th century uh, room. So uh, very good. Uh, a monk named Fibonacci studied the uh, procreation patterns of, of rabbits, and he observed an elegantly simple sequence that explained the rate of increase of their uh, population, one, one, two, three, five. And uh, it not only explains the rate of increase of rabbits, but also growth patterns that appear commonly throughout nature. Everything from the rings of a tree to the distance of the planets from the sun to the uh, proportions of your body, your hand to your, uh, to your arm. And it's not, it's not hocus pocus, it just happens to be a natural growth pattern in, in nature. And that's, um, oh, get these things confused. This is the sequ sequence here. And the first question is what do these numbers have in common? In fact, I think they should put this on, uh, on the uh, SAT test for kids. But, um, the first answer is that uh, each one is the sum of the previous two numbers, and here's an example. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Is there anything else that they have in common? If you take any number and divide it by the previous number, you get a ratio of 1.618. Or if you divide it by the next number, you get the ratio of 0 0.618. Uh, now I'd like to introduce the concept of the, uh, the seed, what I call the seed wave. The seed wave uh, is a term that was first used in sound wave electronics. And a friend of mine, uh, Randall Lockhart, applied the same term to, to Fibonacci trading. The seed wave is simply the first wave in a reversal of trend. So prices are coming down. You've got your one, two, three reversal. And the first wave there is simply what we call the seed wave. And when you're using the Fibonacci numbers to apply them to the growth or the retracement of a, of a trend, as far as I'm concerned, the only place to apply those is to the seed wave. Because it's the first wave in, in the new trend. And that is the wave that forms the seed for all subsequent waves. So that's why we call it the, the seed wave. Seed wave. And that leads to the Fibonacci technique. 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 感情、期待、思惑などの主観的な要因ではなく、各種テクニカル指標の強みを生かして、客観的にシステムで有利な相場環境を見抜き、利益が出る確率を高めていく。テクニカル指標はどれもが平等に重要なのではなく、仕掛けでより有効な指標もあれば、仕切り目標を設定するのに重要な指標もある。本セミナーでは全体的な相場展開をフィボナッチで見極めストキャスティックとマーケットプロファイルで仕掛けフィボナッチで仕切る手法が具体的に解説されている煩雑な取引手法と思われがちなフィボナッチだが要領よくその要素を取り入れることで既存の取引手法がいかに改善されるかを小説したセミナーである。